Hello, it's LP Master 6, and last time it took me over an hour to beat three levels. This time I want you to notice that some of the water in the center is darker and moving at a different pace. <gasps> and it almost looks like a face! Yeah, same as K3. It doesn't look as funny though this time. Alright, pothole panic, here we go! Uh, oh, Squawks! Hey, buddy! Man, what was the last time we got to ride Squawks? Have we gotten to in this game at all? We've been Squawks, but have we gotten to, you know, hang on to him? Uh, this enemy is a Kachuk Kachuka. Kachukya? Kachuka. Yeah. They only appear in this level, and they throw bombs. Yeah, okay. They always, they never look like bombs to me, but if you look closely, they have the little white stems, fuses, that not stems. Stupid, stupid, not even squawks can kill you. God, it's frustrating. All right, I'm going down. Oh, oh. Okay, at least it is wide enough for us to maneuver around. Yeah, squawk still feels great, even with the giant kitty Kong on his back. All right, nothing there, so hurry through. God, okay. I was talking about the difficulty curve and how great it was, but the game got a ton harder whenever the stupid copter showed up in the first level of this world. This world is much harder. <laughs> oh, this is cool. So if you just, you know, drop into the water, you lose squawks. But, you obviously want to go over here first to get on guard. Of course, you can just jump over those two Coco, no problem. Mm. So guys, it's still August 7th, for those wondering, the day before my birthday bash on a Tuesday, which a surprisingly low amount of people complained about this year. But I decided, you know, if they can't come on my actual birthday, I don't care. Because <laughs> I thought about not doing a birthday party this year. I'm sorry, I know I've been talking about it a lot, I'm just excited. I haven't really been social in months. I've really been trying to pay off the debt, which I did, you know, pay off my giant amount of debt for my vet bills. Oh, I thought we were going to die there. All right, let's... Oh, I forgot. We can't... Damn it! Oh, you had to fly into the bass. Jeez. All right, please tell me. Nope, I knew it. All right, you guys have to sit through the whole thing again. Just kidding. I'll meet you at the on guard section. Uh, see, Squawks is so good this time around. Even though I said he sucked before. Last sitting, now he's so good. I just, I want to go super fast. And I can't because I keep dying. Well, Squawks and his relatives. Okay, we are back on On Guard. And the reason I get so excited about my birthday, even as an adult, is because of my obsessive compulsive, compulsive issues. Because it always feels like I need to be starting over, starting fresh. I'm not sure how to describe it. I've tried to describe it to you guys before in other videos, but I just can't. And this is just... Birthdays are always a milestone where it's like, okay, this is the year. We start over and never start over again. What that means, I'm not even sure exactly myself. Just like, you know, lists and such, like to-do lists, like game backlogs primarily. Honestly, that's the main thing because that's my main hobby. Uh... Oh, this actually forces you to get off of On Guard, which is something you never have to do. I love it. This is better than Donkey Kong Land 2's animal antics so far. I'll, I very much want to point that out. Alright, Ellie cannot kill copters, of course, even though she's a giant elephant. Well, actually, she's a pretty small elephant. Uh, are you... No, you don't take us anywhere. That's disappointing. We haven't gotten a single secret. Ellie, no. Nope. Come back, please. Ellie, please. Okay, no Ellie. Cool. We'll just miss out on Ellie entirely. And Kitty! There are unused animations and sprites for the Kachukyas walking around. Wait a minute. What? Hold up. 
I love the way Kitty floats. Of course, it was the same way in the first two games with a partner, but... Ah! Wait, 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 wait. That's not good. No, 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 no! Alright, I'm gonna kill myself. Okay, so let's see who's in the booty bird first. I'm gonna give it to the red buzz. You can kill me. Thank you. 12 lives? We've been staying surprisingly steady despite all the, uh atrocities I've committed gameplay-wise. Alright, we- oh good! We're back right at the Ellie section. That's perfect. Alright, fuck the copter. Watch out for the Kachukka's bombs. Oh, there we go. Damn it! Oh yes, yes. This is how you're supposed to do this. Okay. You jump off of Ellie! That is so clever! I love that! Oh, and it's even in the bonus stage. How could I for have forgotten this? There's just so many mechanics to this game. Like, God. I don't understand why people sleep on this game. That looked kind of creepy with Kitty doing Ellie's motions behind her. I didn't much care for that. Alright, something else we gotta see here. What's down here? Oh! Bear coin and another bear coin? Yes. I'm glad they made it symmetrical for me. And Ellie despawned. That... That's frustrating. <laughs> like, the, the memory of games like this always works in the strangest ways. I mean, that one's not that weird. It's just so inconsistent across games, and I hate that. Alright. Well, I guess we'll just take a hit, and then... Take another hit? Nope. Okay, we're good. No! Squitter! You stupid son of a bitch. He destroyed himself. We didn't get the coin or anything, because we needed Squitter! Oh, maybe not. Yes. All right. Then I will sacrifice myself once again. I'm convinced there's not a way to avoid that. But okay, we're here. So we can jump off Ellie, and we're already back at the squitter section. This level is short and sweet. This is awesome. See, this is another fantastic example of a later game stage here. Fuck! Again? Ugh. I don't want to keep racking up deaths, so I'm just going to replay the entire stage. Alright guys, we are back here at the No Squitter sign. Yes, okay, this is exactly what I thought. But I, I looked up where the coin was. <laughs> I know I shouldn't have, but... Oh, I see, okay. Got it. At least it gives us a redo. Where are we? Oh, we're back here. Okay. Let's get the slowdown again from all the stuff on the screen. Because squitter levels are very bad about that. <laughs> but that was a very good animal antics type level. Glad we get to end it off with this. Uh, uh, uh. Oh god. Alright, come on. Let's collect a few at a time here before we retreat. Alright, I think this strategy is going to work. Oh yeah, no problem. Alright. Oh, no, no, no! Oh. Whoo! 60 bonus coins? Are we really that far? Did Bleak, has, did, Bleak, did Bleak give us one? Also, what do we get for this? Banana. Obviously not DK coin, but you know what? Yes, okay. I didn't read exactly where it was. This is not what I wanted. Okay, I feel like they could have come up with a better place for this. Maybe using the animal buddies or something. I keep meaning to team up 
and instead I'm pressing select. Oops. <laughs> Alright, are we gonna have to... Yep, okay. I'm gonna have to go about this a different way. I tried pressing select again. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> okay, but to finish my conversation about, like, my starting fresh and my obsession with my birthday because it's a date where I can just start everything over. I really don't want that to be clear, you know? My life is great. So I am very happy with where I am now. I'm just a little exhausted presently from work. Okay. Oh, I really thought that was gonna work. Okay. Is it... I think it would have worked that time because I heard it rolling. All right, this proves we just need momentum. So, no, you can't do that. All right, I'm gonna cut after this attempt. No, okay. Oh, there we go. Alright, well, we'll get the end of level again because we're right there. It was on screen, so why not? Alright, that was nice. And thank God, honestly, we only have one level left before the boss. <laughs> I can't take another hour-long video. I can't do it. Alright, don't worry, your tokens are safe. Do you want to gamble your coins for the big prize? In capital letters, as if it is a proper noun. When was the last time you guys thought about proper nouns? For those of you who have have been out of public school for a long time. Or, like, okay, grade school, I guess as they call it. Oh, you gotta press the right button, actually. Not Y. You gotta press A or B. I prefer B as the action button in my games with the four face buttons. Obviously not the GameCube controller. But the SNES, Switch, Wii U, etc. Alright, uh, we might lose this one, or is the goal not to miss one? I think we already missed one, though. I'm still confused by this, very confused. I'm gonna hold my controller farther away. Also, can somebody comment, what are your thoughts on third-party controllers that are not endorsed by Nintendo at all for older consoles? So I bought the cheapest possible Nintendo 64 controllers uh, on eBay that still looked decent. Did I get 56 or I'm confused. I don't know how that mode works at all and I haven't looked into it. Future me, look into it now. But man, okay. Endurance seems to be the way to go if we want a bunch of prizes. Uh, sorry, my brain stopped. Hold on. <laughs> It never fails. The level's called Ropey Rumpus. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that was that was pretty cringe, but it's funny. It's called Ropey Rumpus. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna go into it. Fuck whatever I was saying. No, I'm gonna pause. Nope. I'm sorry. I know I was in the middle of a sentence, but I don't remember what it was. Well, I guess we're done talking about my birthday. Thank God, right? I had more stuff to say about just stuff in general. I don't know. Lately, I've been on it with commentary, I feel like. Maybe not this sitting, but it's been all right. I think this is good. Oh, I never let you listen to the song in that last level. It's called Cavern Caprice. And uh, it's quite good. It's one of the best songs on the soundtrack. I know I've kind of been saying that every time. What's the point of this? Hold on. There is a point to this. What is it? Is it down here? Oh! I found it. <laughs> okay, back into Ropey Rumpus we go. Ropey Rumpus. Is that a British saying? Now, it sounds very British, but what is Rumpus? Like, I, is it like a romp? 
you know, like a fight? Like you're having a romp? It's more of an old-timey thing, not a British thing, right? I'm not making fun of British people, for the record. I quite like British, uh... Creations. America. And I'm not gonna get started on the whole thing of, like... You know, some people are like... Okay, I'm, I'm getting a little political. This isn't really taking a side or anything. I think, obviously, there are things that are massively, horrifically flawed about this country that I live in, the United States of America. There is no doubting that at all, right? But, like, to, just to say that it all sucks... Like, I mean, you gotta remember, I think, like, somebody told me... Oh, come on! Alright, how am I supposed to get the TNT barrel down here? And it doesn't respawn great. Whatever, it's at the beginning of the level. Who cares? But we know that the bonus barrel is there. <laughs> My god. Okay, there we go. Oh, so you just hang right. I just figured we would have hit that buzz and it wouldn't have worked. Oh well. God, sometimes, you know, I don't pay attention to the song. I'm too wrapped up in the gameplay. But sometimes I take a minute and I just let bonus time sink into my skin. Like sunscreen does way too quickly. Like seriously, you have no idea. It's weird. If my wife puts lotion or sunscreen or some weird substance on me, it just eats it instantly. My skin is so dry. My skin. All right, what are you doing? You are an O. You are what? What is this? What is the purpose? of you. Is this to my death? Am I falling to my death? No. Okay. I mean, cool. I'm just a little confused. Wait, so we haven't been here yet. Yeah, we have. This is the beginning of the level. Stop doing this. <laughs> well, but as I was saying, uh, <laughs> you know, somebody told me they don't think we should celebrate Memorial Day. And it's like, yeah, I get it. Like, people of the past sucked and our country you know has waged wars for no good reason but that doesn't mean that the people who fought in the wars you know like deserve to be shat on you know they thought they were doing a good thing especially like the older wars like think the revolution I, and i'm not saying i'm a war advocate <laughs> obviously you know it feels weird to talk about this stuff because i feel like i'm not coming off right like yeah slavery was awful uh, what we did to most people that aren't white or male, absolutely atrocious. Like, that cannot be forgiven. But we were, like, the first country that was free. Not really, but I feel like we took big steps in having, like, Western civilization be uh, a lot less tyrannical. And I think that's pretty impressive. I think that the Revolutionary War fighters, those guys, deserve a little credit, you know? I won't get into other wars, but that's just one reason, you know? You, the Founding Fathers may have sucked because, you know, they literally tried to own people. They thought that was okay. Not all of them, actually, but... Yeah, I, I get not wanting to celebrate them, but still... A lot of people did a lot of good things. And I feel like counting out an entire, like, history of the country is... It's not fair, exactly? I mean, sure, I'd rather erase it for the greater good than keep it for a shitty reason. So I'm all for it. Like, I think, you know, we should treat it how it is. And instead of teaching it in schools like they were the best no matter what, because they weren't, we should teach it accurately. Like they tried to, they said they owned other people and forced people, you know, uh, to work for them and they lynched them. <laughs> terrible, absolutely terrible. I just want a fully accurate picture, that's all. All right, we're back over here. Instead of dying by going to the left again, I wanna go look for a DK barrel instead. <laughs> You can't say instead twice. Stop dying! God damn it! I'm extra frustrated because the cats are coming in my room and it hurts my back every time I have to get up, but they don't care. 
All right, I give up. There seems to be nothing there but a banana bunch, and it's gotten me killed like five times trying to figure it out. And the checkpoint's right there, of course. But okay, back to what I was talking about. Because I, even though this is never even something I really think about or talk about at all, I'm just on a tangent about America. <laughs> Alright, that's that's fishy. Maybe not. I guess there's just nothing here. Okay. What? Hold up. Hold up. Wait, so what is over here? Oh, a life that we immediately negate. Cool. But to prove my point, like I'm not trying to defend shitty people, you know. For example, it's pretty easy to tell, even though he's not painted as such in your, you know, when I was in elementary school, Teddy Roosevelt. Awful guy. Waged war on so many, like, small, like, cultures. Like, remember when he slaughtered all the Philippians and the Ho native Hawaiians? You know, in his idea of, like, becoming an empire? Not an empire, but like a... Whatever the democratic version of that would be. He just wanted so much land. Manifest destiny, that's what he called it. God, what a piece of shit. Like, nobody ever talks about that. And I think that's not fair. If you're going to talk about the good stuff he did, which I can't even think of anything, if you're going to talk about him at all in history classes, talk about the shitty stuff he did. To be fair, we did go over that in high school, and that's how I learned about it. Okay, I for some reason I thought the cave was the end of the level, and this is not Donkey Kong Country 1, so I don't know what I was thinking. Okay... Just making sure there was nothing there. We're getting really lucky with these. Alright, we got the coin. We are looking for the second bonus barrel still, right? I think? Perry! Woo! Alright, we got this. Come on, let's go, Perry. You trust me? Because I trust you, Perry. Oh, sick. Is this somewhere we... Okay, we do want to take Perry here. Alright, that was fun. Do we want to take Perry back this way or not? Probably not. No. Yes. What was that? Oh, it's just- No! Fart! Dude! I'm so sorry, Perry. Put what Perry gives you here on the screen now. Hold up. No, get, get out of here. Stop. No, no, no. I know there's something up there. I know it. Look, you can obviously tell there's something up there. What did we miss? What did we miss? Please, what did we miss? That's it, I'll take the hit, that's fine. If I have to die, I'll die. If I can bring Perry back to life, I will sacrifice myself. God, these videos are gonna be a nightmare to edit. <laughs> Well, I got Perry back, but at what price? I'm gonna look this up. I'm so tired of dying. Oh, you know, my mom used to tell me all the time when I had friends over, Jason, keep it down. You guys are causing a rumpus. <laughs> Best joke I've ever made in my entire life. Yep, this is why I didn't put it on screen. Because Perry turns into the bonus barrel. Go Perry. God, I fucking love Perry. He is slowly becoming one of my favorite animal buddies. Like, he's very difficult to pull off almost every single time he shows up. But man, is it satisfying to do. So No! Perry! Please tell me that doesn't despawn. Please. You got one chance for Perry? Seriously? Alright, I'd rather die than redo the whole level, so I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna die. Ugh. Also, I said these are gonna be a nightmare to edit. I, I liter I'll literally all I do whenever a death happens now, because I don't put the counter on for every death, just every video. And not even every video. Uh, <laughs> I just add to my notes another death so I can put it in at the end of the video. That's it. I just have to pay attention and put stuff on the screen when I tell myself to. And cut when I should cut. It's very simple. 
None of it is a nightmare. A nightmare is like doing dishes for 12 hours straight with no breaks. That's a nightmare. This is not a nightmare. Please, don't do this to me. Perry deserves better. No! I'm so sick of dying. I love this fucking level. It really is a fucking rumpus. But I'm getting sick of this. Oh. My hands. My palms are sweaty. Thanks, Perry, for that beautiful, gorgeous, fucking beautiful challenge. Alright, we got 40 seconds. That's a good amount of time, I feel like. To make Perry proud. We're inside Perry right now. Actually, no. We're not in the bonus barrel. We're just we we transported via the bonus barrel it shot us somewhere so we actually used parry as a vehicle is he honored do you think like is he happy or is he sad to like explode into something every time we meet him he either dies because he gets hit by a giant mechanical wasp or <laughs> I don't know. I I don't want to make. I don't want to be sad thinking about abusing Perry. So I'm gonna stop. All right, it's time for the boss. Barbosa's barrier. That's a very fun thing to say. All right, you guessed it. I'm gonna say this boss is hard when it really isn't that hard. Oh. Uh, oh. So what you have to do, okay, I'm not showing this off well at all, but I'm going to try my best. It's not over. I just, <laughs> stop it. You have to stop. So obviously you have to hit Barbos here, right? But you can't because he has lurchins near him that never open. But you can launch a lurchin into him or into those lurchins and destroy them. So, then you can get a hit in. Boom. Simple. Or is it? Because this is one of those fights where you keep moving and everything gets more complicated. This enemy is the rarest enemy in the game. Only launched by Barbos. It is a homing thing. Put its name on screen now. Okay, yeah, I can't. They do damage to me. Yes. Oh, duh. I'm supposed to try to get them to attack Barbos. No, no, no. Damn it! Okay, that was me being dumb. Alright. Uh, attempt to... Yeah, I'll leave in this whole thing here. So you can see me actually do it better this time. See? There we go. That was not that hard. Alright, nope. No! Do not take a hit this early. Are you... Are you kidding me? Ugh. Alright, I'll leave in the first phase one more time. Because we've been going for 39 minutes. Which is honestly perfectly reasonable. This late in the game for one video. Ugh. So another example that like is less talked about is Abraham Lincoln. You want to talk about a shitty person? Who, he is like constantly, to this day, voted as the best president in history. The man freed some of the slaves, not the ones near him. He did it to teach the South a lesson. You know, people that just wanted to leave the country and, they, and Abraham Lincoln said, No, we want all our states. I mean, I'm glad things worked out the way they did because the Confederacy obviously would have been absolutely horrible country. Like, things would have been tremendously bad. You've got to be kidding! Oh, we're back, by the way. All right, so you really got to stay for a while after they start flashing. You got to go up until they start moving, but you don't have enough time to move out of the way! All right, phase one is done again. Here we go. Did you know that Abraham Lincoln said he thought he was doing the morally wrong thing by freeing the slaves? He just thought it was the right political move and that's the only reason he did it? Did you know that? And he said, when asked, oh, so you think he should be able to vote and everything, you know, talking about blacks, Abraham Lincoln said, of course not. 
He said, they will never have equal rights. That's something he said. He believed that, like, what he did was wrong. In fact, he said, Lord have mercy on my soul, or something like that. What have I done after he gave the blacks equal rights? I'm saying the blacks, like they're a long lost race or something. I'm sorry. I hope that was not offensive. I didn't mean anything. I didn't mean anything by that. Black people would have been a lot better of a way to phrase it. But Abraham Lincoln was a very horrible, shitty racist. I mean, he was a decent politician for his time because of, you know, the fact that he actually he did something that he didn't believe in for the good of the country. So that's good, but he did it for the wrong reasons. He did it to win a war, well, which is still, I guess, a good thing, but it's very convoluted stuff. Okay, I don't know what to say here, but I'm going to shut up about slaves while we get this cutscene. Can't do anything to the right. All right, well, I don't know why I went back. Oops. Next time, we'll be going to Chaos Core. But for now, there's a couple of things I want to check out. Like, huh, what's this? Sorry, I just referenced the uwu meme. Oh, God. What have I become? This picture reminds me of those I can't grow anymore. You've got one! Of perfect Flapurious Petalus Pongus. Pongus! <laughs> oh, that's a cat inside joke that I don't think is worth explaining to you guys. Oh, okay then. You were too generous, Kirby. <laughs> Not Kirby. Here, have this Bananas Goldus Flutterus. Or, um, I mean Banana Bird. I finished studying its abilities. Some of them are quite magical, I'll have you know. Alright, come on, let's get out of here, buddy. The magic of the banana bird sounds very mysterious. We still don't have all the DK coins, so we can't unlock anything new with Funky. Yep, turns out that's all I can do. But, like, my point is, we need to teach people that people are shitty, but I guess... Like, people do good and bad things, so it's a very touchy subject. And I do agree, you know, we should get rid of shitty people, even if they do good things, but... Sometimes you can't count out those good things. Even if, you know, it'd be good to separate them from the person, I guess. That's something we need to work on. I forgot my original point. I hope this rant didn't sound too absolutely horrible. <laughs> it's not like I went on a rant about how cancel culture is dumb. I thought it was at first. But, you know, I guess it is best to make people pay for the horrible things they've done. Maybe not like if it was like 50 years ago or whatever. Like as long as they're sorry and things are different. But I'd say overall, you know, people raping people shouldn't go unnoticed in the entertainment industry. I don't know why this part of Donkey Kong had to get very socio-political, if you could even call it that. But I apologize. <laughs> that's what was on my mind, so that's what I talked about. All right, next time we'll be going into Chaos Core and not talking about rape or slavery. I'm LP Master 6!